Did you guys finish yesterday's homework? Nope. Nah. Okay, class, settle down. Did everyone finish their times tables? Yeah, I did. Yep, did it this morning. Yeah, me, Don, and Barack all did it together last night. Great. Who can tell me what nine times seven is? Oh, oh, me. Pick me. Yes, Ben. That, that would be 63. Correct. <laughs> Fucking nerd. How about 12 times 12? Can someone tell me that? 144. Good, Ben, but please let someone else speak. Donald, can you please tell me what six times eight is? Uh, um, uh, is it 50? Very close. It's 48, you dumbass. Shut the f*** up, Ben. Yeah, you f***ing loser. We didn't get around to doing the homework because we were all busy banging your mom last night. Good one, Don. Donald, we both know your s*** don't work, even with 10 pounds of medication. Why don't we take this outside and you can watch this nerd beat the f*** out of all you geriatric f***s. All right, enough of this. Principal's office, all of you. Why the f*** does this happen every f***ing class? Don, I'll trade you two baby bell for your pockies. F*** that, man. Those things taste like s***. What about a small bag of M&M's? Joe, that's a full pack of Pockies, bro. Have you even seen the updated trading chart? Really, man, stop trying to scam me. This is why no one ever wants to trade snacks with you, bro. You guys take this way too seriously. I'm just trying to trade my sh- Donald, I'll give you a Hot Pocket for your Pockies. Hell yeah, I'll take that deal. Nobody ever wants to trade with me. Stop asking for bullshit, Joe. That's it, I'm telling the teacher on you guys. Don't you fucking dare, Joe. What is it, Joe? Don, Brock, and Ben are trading food again. Stop it right now, guys. If I catch you trading snacks, I'll send you to the principal's office. Fuck you, Joe. We're going to totally kick your ass after school. Watch your back, man. Y'all want to go see the new John Wick movie this weekend? Yeah, I'm down. Already watched it, but I'll go see it again. All right, quiet down, everyone. We have a new student in class. Wait, who? I hope she's purdy. Class. This is James. He'll be joining us for the remainder of the semester. Hey, sisters. I'm so excited to learn with you. Zooey mama. I'm confused by the emotions I'm feeling right now. Everyone say hi. Hey. Hello, James. Come sit with me and Drake, James. Oh, okay. How's it going? I'm Jimmy and this is Drake. It's so nice to meet you. Please call me Aubrey. If there's anything I can do to help you get settled in here, let me know. Wow, thanks. Everyone is so nice here. This is going to be a great year. And that, guys, is why World War I was so freaking silly. Thanks for listening, everyone. I hoped you learned something. Very good, gentlemen. All right, Donald, Joe, and Barack, you're up next. Did you guys memorize your lines? I read over them, so I think I'm good. If I'm being honest, I didn't even open the document. What the fuck, Don? We're going to get such a shitty mark on this. Hurry up, guys. Hello, everyone. My name's Joe, and this is Donald and Barack, and we're going to teach you about the Korean War. So, yeah, it was like a war in Korea, and it happened at some point in the 1900s. Yeah, and a lot of people died, I'm pretty sure. What was the Soviet Union's involvement in Korea? That's a great question, Ben. God, I fucking hate you. Yeah, they were definitely involved a lot in the Korean War. Really in there. None of you prepared for this, huh? Nope. No, I didn't. I did, but I forgot. Last strike, boys. All three of you will have detention for the next three weeks. What the fuck? Are you kidding? This is a load of horse shit. Serves you right, you fucking morons. That's a day of detention for you too, Ben. Any of you guys buy the cafeteria food today? Nope. And I don't think Barack did either. The lasagna at this school sucks so hard. For real, most of the food at this school is hot garbage. How the hell can you even eat that sh**, Joe? Who the f*** are you talking to, Don? The only thing your gut is ever filled with is Diet Coke and cheeseburgers. Talk all you want, Joe. I'm not ashamed of that. Burger Day is the only day I actually buy the food. What about Taco Day? They're not bad, but the last time I ate them, I was shitting like a fire hose. Sounds like you have a trash digestive system. Couldn't be me, man. All right, Joe, talk sh- one more time. See what happens. Calm down, Don. It's not that deep. Any of you guys remember when they served Nashville chicken tenders? Oh, f- yeah, those were awesome. Other than a few things, basically everything here tastes like either plastic, rubber, or rubbery plastic. What the f***? You gotta be kidding me. My lasagna is cold. That's the last straw. I'm gonna go have a word with the lunch ladies. You tell them, Joe. I hope they spit in your food from now on. Go f*** yourself. What's your guy's favorite Halloween candy? It's spring, bro. Why the hell are you asking us this? I just had a dream the other night where I got revenge on that piece of shit that gave me a moldy apple in grade five. Oh, I fucking hate when they give me fruits on Halloween. Who does that? I don't know, guys. My favorite thing to get on Halloween is raisins. I just love them so much. Wait, you actually like raisins? Yeah. That's weird as fuck, man. You're literally the only person that I know that even eats them. I'll take my fruit in the form of Starburst. Thank you very much. Those, they always get stuck in my teeth. Keep Starburst's name out of your fucking mouth, Joe. Any of y'all ever get a full can of Coke before? Never. The people in my neighborhood are stingy as fuck. Take this L, Joe. Name any mainstream soda company, and I've probably got one on Halloween. 
My mother says Halloween is a pagan social construction designed to give me cavities and tooth boo-boos. That's really funny, Ben, because I don't remember asking. Of course you don't remember asking. I inserted myself into this conversation. What would you have possibly asked me? God, I hate you so much. All right, boys, let's hear your favorite school lunch snacks. Why don't you go first, Don, since this was all your idea? Yeah, man, I want to see how many of yours are from the McDonald's menu. Fine, here's mine. Number three, you already know I got to go with Pockies. Overrated. Shut up, Barack. Let me finish. Okay, number two, Pizza Goldfish. Okay, that's based. And number one, Mini Burger Lunchables. Those things are fire. Yeah, you would pick those, man. Of course that's what you picked, Don. Fine, Barack. Let's hear your trash list. Check this out. At three, I got to go with the Mini Sandwich Ritz Crackers. The ones with the cheese in the middle. Okay, not bad so far. I actually have the same number two as Don, except I went with extreme cheddar. Ew, bro, those things are nasty. The hell are you talking about, Don? The cheddar explosion goldfish are just as good as the pizza ones. Stop talking, guys. Let me finish. All right, number one, I went with Dunkaroos. Oh, my God, Barack, I totally forgot about those. I used to love Dunkaroos. I want to go next, guys. I don't know if there's enough time for you, Joe. Then stop talking so I can do this. Better make it quick, bro. All right, number three. We're very sorry, Miss Windsor. We promise it won't happen again. It's all Don. He's a bad influence. Fuck you, Joe. Donald, one more swear and I'll have you expelled. Funk you, Joe. Donald. I said funk, that's not a swear. Joe and Barack, you can leave. Go back to class and if you're sent here again, you'll be looking at a week's suspension. Sorry again, Miss Windsor. Thank you, Don. Donald, this is the eighth time you've been sent here this year. You always tell me you'll do better and you always end up back here. Chill, Liz. That's Principal Windsor to you, you little fucking twerp. Whoa. Yeah, that's right. And if you cause any more fucking trouble this year, I'll make your life a living hell. What the fuck? I don't think you're allowed to threaten me like that. I just did, you fucking inflated orange. Go back to class and remember what I said. Today, class, we will be learning about the planets in our solar system. Oh, I know these. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Jupiter. Wait, who, Ben? What do you mean, who? I just said them. No, who the fuck asked? Good one, Don. Shut the fuck up, Joe. I haven't forgot you ratting me out to Lizzie. Dude, I said I'm sorry, man. We really mean it, Don. Yeah, whatever. Both of you can go to hell. Okay, class, quiet down. Let's begin with the planet closest to our sun, Mercury. Has anyone heard of this planet before? Oh, I have. Pick me. Holy sh**. Here we go again. Yes, Ben? I know that Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. No, it isn't, Ben. That's Pluto. Pluto is a dwarf planet, Joe. Tomato, tomato, man. Actually, no, it isn't. Pluto does not meet the criteria Students, for... this is your principal, Miss Windsor. Our custodial department head, Mr. Freeman, has an announcement for everyone. You little fuckers need to stop throwing wet toilet paper balls at the bathroom ceiling. Next time I see one of you little shits doing that, I'm making you stay after hours to clean all of them. Welcome back, everyone. Would anyone like to share what they did on their vacations with the class? I'll go first. Me and my grandpa went to Disneyland. I saw Mickey Mouse and Stitch and Captain Hook. That's very interesting, George. That's nothing. My dad took me to a guest lecture in a college-level math class. How the fuck is that more interesting than Disneyland? Please watch your language, Donald. Sorry. Me, Jimmy, and James went sightseeing in Paris for a week. We tried croissants, baguettes, and the finest cheeses on this planet. Yeah, it was really fun. James and I went to the Louvre, which was absolutely stupendous. Seeing the Mona Lisa online is one thing, but seeing it in person brought a tear to my eye. Such beauty. Holy sh**, Drake, do you ever shut the fuck up? He didn't ask for a fucking novel. Buzz off, Donald. Enough, Donald. Go to the principal's office right now. Yeah, I know. I'm going. Morning, Don. Shut up, Joe. Okay, you know what? The fuck's your problem, man. You snitched on me, man. Why wouldn't I be fucking mad? We know, Don, and we really are sorry. Seriously. And don't pretend you wouldn't have done the same. Principal Windsor is mean as fuck, and she already hates you, bro. Yeah, you're right, but you didn't have to blame all of your mistakes on me, Joe. I know, man. I'm sorry. I promise I won't do it again. I believe you, man. I know it's going to take some time, but I think I'm ready to forgive you, bro. Thanks, Don. We really are sorry. <laughs> man, I love you guys. I'm sorry for being such an asshole recently. It's okay, Don. We love you, too. Ah, oh, yes, here we are. Students, this is Jonathan. He's here to tell you about football registrations for summer. Hey, guys. Just wanted to let everyone know that summer football tryouts are starting this weekend. Nobody gives a shit about football, you meathead. You better hope football gets you into a good college, because you're sure as shit not making it in on grades. Yeah, how about you come to tryouts, Ben? Maybe I can help lower your IQ down to my level. Whatever, man. Better shut the fuck up soon, Ben. John will fold you like an omelet. All right, boys, I've got a bag of flaming Hot Cheetos up for grabs. Make me an offer. I've got garlic peas and a pack of seaweed. In other words, you have shit and weirder shit. Joe, I'll trade you my Tazukuri sardines for your seaweed. Both of you clowns are about to be banned from snack trading. What the fuck is going on? Do I look like a samurai?
I'm talking Cheetos here, and you're offering some weird-ass Japanese snacks. Don, why are you giving away a top-tier snack anyway? I don't like how the powder stains my skin orange. How do you even notice the difference? Fuck you. What about a pack of nerds for your Cheetos? Done. Yo, what's the status of the seaweed sardine trade? Throw in some of those high chews and you've got yourself a deal. Wait a second, did you say high chews? Damn, those things are fire. Oh, so now you like our snacks? I'll give you the Cheetos for your bag of high chews. Hey, we had a deal. That was before I knew Dopey here had candy. Spicy food gives me the ring of fire, no deal. All right, fine, Obama, let's do this. Forget it, the deal's off you, Oompa Loompa. All right, class, settle down. Can anyone tell me what this is? Don's mom. Ha, huh, good one. Shut the f*** up, you little rat. Language, Don. There's no way that's real. Oh, look, everyone. Joe woke up and joined the class. Classic Sleepy Joe. That's right. It's classic. Just like the way you're holding your book upside down, pretending to be literate. Classic. Ouch. It's called a blobfish. Does anyone recognize this fascinating creature? That's a duck-billed platypus. Nerd! Correct, Ben and Trump. You're right as well. And what about this strange little fella? Oh my God, I know this one. No, you don't. I almost did, though. I'll give you all a hint. Don keeps scratching himself as he has a problem related to this creature. It's a crab. Oh my God, Don's got crabs. What? Impossible. She said it was itchy because of the dry weather. Wow, Don, seems like you believe anything a woman tells you. Well, I didn't expect Jill to lie to me. Wait, what? 